In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit auto captions in VoiceThread. So VoiceThread is great in the sense that it is creating auto captioning for you, but not great in the sense that auto captions don't meet ADA requirements on accessibility. So you should be at the very least on your kind of main videos, main comments, going ahead and editing those captions. And so first you'll want to make sure that they're on and I have them on. You can also turn them off at different times. And then you're going to go to whichever slide or comment that you have. And when you hover over that, you're going to see that the CC or closed caption little button pops out and you can click that. And then of course you see edit captions right here. You may see upload captions. And if that's the case, you have not allowed the system long enough to actually generate those captions. So just exit out, give it some time, depending on how many captions it's dealing with. It can take a while, just like YouTube can take quite a while or be very quick. Just if you see upload, it just hasn't dealt with it yet. It hasn't worked through it. Since mine have clearly, because you know you can see them right here, we're going to go ahead and click edit captions. And you'll this editor will look very familiar to you if you're used to editing captions in YouTube. It just kind of adds different timestamps for you. And you can go through and know that, okay, well, and it's in generally doing a pretty good job, but I want the capitalization here at the very start of it. You're just going to go through and you can play it as you go and make sure that it's correct capitalization, that it hasn't given you or put down a word that is not the word that you actually said, those sorts of things. And it's just the, once you're done, you can go ahead and click save captions and you're done. It can be somewhat time consuming or very time consuming depending on the length of your videos. And it's just one of those steps that we have to take for ADA. But that's how you go about editing your auto captioning. The great thing is that VoiceThread gets you much, much, much farther than it, it would be. It's, it's helping you a lot in the sense of it's creating those timestamps for you. It's getting you most of the way there. So you're just having to edit rather than create those captions yourself. And so that's a, it's a great, great tool for that reason.